Hello, we're going to produce a new video today. But first, I want to explain the mess on my table here. My subscribers know that I always have my prints and scattered out in a mess on my table. And today we have a lot of these strips, proof sheet strips, that we're going to incorporate into my upcoming book about me photographing railroad tramps 45 years ago in Los Angeles. But today is an exciting day for me because we're going to talk about the magic Nikon that helped fix a truck. That's right. Sounds pretty crazy, but that's what happened. I was on the road for a week in California on an assignment to photograph and document the owner operator truck driver. That's a person that pays for his own truck, buys all the gas and tires and everything, and is a truck driver. He doesn't work for a company. He has his own truck. And I'd been on the road for a week, and my last stop was in Ontario, California, which at that time was the largest truck stop in the world. And there was trucks just lined up for like a quarter of a mile, just one line of trucks. And then another line behind them, and another line. There was hundreds of trucks, and it was a paradise for me. And I was walking through, and I would see different people, you know, big, big people, big trucks, big people walking around, and small groups of men on their spare time in front of their trucks, getting in a group, talking. And as I was walking through the trucks, looking for suitable subject material, I saw a woman, beautiful woman. She had a beautiful hairdo, big hoop earrings, but she was coming around the front of her truck and I noticed that the cab on her truck was lifted up to expose the engine. There must be a problem. And so, me wanting to find pictures, I went over and I started talking to her. And she said, yes, I have a problem and, and I'm very low on money and I need to get back on the road again to deliver my goods. And at that time, there was very few women truck drivers on the road. And the men that were standing around, they didn't come, they didn't know that she had a problem with her truck and they didn't know if they should approach her because maybe they thought that she was somebody's wife and she was waiting for her husband and they didn't want to, you know, come over and get involved. But when they saw me go over and take pictures with this, and this is why I call this video the magic Nikon that helped fix the truck. I went over there and I talked to her and I saw what she was, she told me that she had a problem with the truck and I started taking pictures of her. Well, the other men were watching me and they got curious. They wondered, what, what is he taking pictures of? And so several of them sauntered over slowly to see what was going on. And when they approached, I said, hey, you know, this woman has got a problem with her truck. She's very low on money. She doesn't know how to fix it herself. Could you guys help? Well, they all ran off. Some of them came back with tools. One of them went up to the truck stop mechanic that worked in the truck stop. Uh, he cost a lot of money, probably $50 to $70 an hour to work on someone's truck. Well, what they did, the, the different truck drivers, they chipped in their money and they paid the professional mechanic to come over and look at her truck. And I got, I got pictures of that. You know, I got pictures of her trying to work on the truck, and here's some of the men that came by to help, and then, and then there's the, the prof oh, look at her here. There's, I love this one where she's, look at her standing up, the wonderful womanhood, the power of a woman, the power of a human being. She's down and out, but look at the smile she gave me. She was a proud woman. And I was there, and I made these pictures with tears in my eyes. The men fixed the truck. And then they celebrated. They went out and got six pack of beer and they had a party. And I left. I, I was very emotional at that point. They were wonderful men and they knew they were truckers themselves and they knew the problems of a breakdown. And they came over and they helped fix that truck and they put the woman back on the road. And I took my cameras and I went home. I'd been on, gone for a week and it was good to get home. But that was the last stop. The magic of photography. I want you to think about what you can do. You don't have to be a professional photographer for do these things. You see someone by the side of the road changing a tire on their car, go get some pictures, but at the same time help the person. And have the joy of what a camera and your mind and your good heart can put together in a photo essay or even a single picture. 